Alright guys, uh, we will start the press conference now for the WBO Heavyweight Championship of the World. Could I ask David Higgins, founder and director of Duke Events, to say a few words about this bout? Uh, thank you everyone for coming today. Just um, to take a minute to take stock, really. Uh, Ian Monaghan and I first started working together on the David Tua Shane Cameron fight back in 2009, seven years ago. I think it's fair to say the sport of boxing has been transformed in that seven years back then. It was very difficult to get any media coverage. Now, if Joseph Parker sneezed, the media will cover it. And so I think it's um, appropriate to acknowledge everyone that's contributed um, to where this historic event, the first time a heavyweight championship bout has been held on New Zealand soil. It could be the first time a New Zealander wins the of some on descent wins a heavyweight championship of the world. In my eyes, that would be like Edmund Hillary climbing Mount Everest, you know, it's a big deal in, in my eyes. So, and there's been a lot of people who've contributed to that, not the least Joseph Parker himself and his, his team and Kevin and their dedication, his parents, and father Dempsey and Salah who are here, um, his brother, you know, it's, it's, it, all the sponsors, Burger King, TAB, guys like Mike Morton who owns the Mad Butcher, and I don't want to forget anyone, the members of the media themselves have been part of that journey and so I think it's a historic and wonderful thing for New Zealand sport because it's so unique. It's not like the other footy codes that happen week in, week out. It really is unique. Um, so I'd like to thank Bob Arum also and, um, and wish both boxers well and um, may the best man win on Saturday night. Uh, Dean, people ask if Dean and I are nervous, I'd say we're not. We're, you know, this started on a whiteboard. Dean and I had a brainstorm and said, let's try win the heavyweight championship of the world, how would you do it? And we sort of broke down the steps. Step one was find a talented young boxer and sign, sign him up. Step two, put around him the best training, the best sparring. Step three, fight often, five times a year, and um, put foot to the floor, take risks. And I think it's extraordinary, the other extraordinary thing is that it's only taken three years, or just over three years. It's a very quick time from debut to fight for the heavyweight title. So it's not just about winning it, we want to then unify, go after the other four, three titles, and try and become the first undisputed heavyweight champion since Lennox Lewis. So, um, yep, it's, um, for me, I'm quite enjoying this week, and i um, just like to thank you, everyone. I might just uh, leave that microphone there as it's playing up uh, with Bob. And uh, obviously David Higgins is pretty confident that Joseph Parker will win this bout as the promoter of uh, Andy Ruiz. I'm guessing your money's on Andy. I don't put money on it. shot to win the But, uh, you know, the one thing I can tell everyone out here, I know a lot of punting here in uh, New Zealand, there is some in the back of the United States, particularly in the town that I'm from, Las Vegas. But the best way uh, to save money is to not to bet on fights. Really, really true. I remember talking to you a couple of weeks ago, you saw the video of, of Andy and you were shocked at his transformation. He says he, Abel's actually trained him hard and he is absolutely prepared. And in fairness, Abel, uh, the people have been telling me going around the media, they are saying that Andy is absolutely ready and so for this fight, they are a little bit worried. Uh, they shouldn't be worried. We're going to be treated to a great fight. Uh, I think that's why we're all here. Uh, it's a historical fight for both guys, for both countries. Uh, the first champion out of uh, uh, New Zealand, first champion out of Mexico. First heavyweight champion, I should say. So it's a, it's a historical event. Uh, and we've been, the hospitality here has been great. We've been treated great. So uh, the fans on the street uh, come up to us and wish us all the luck. Uh, Obviously, they're for Joseph, but uh, they, they wish for a good fight, so we hope to put that on. That's why Andy's in the best shape that he's ever been in. And, 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 and Abel's on a run now. As a trainer, he's a tremendous trainer. Just won, uh, his fighter just won the Cruiserweight Championship of the World uh, in Moscow last weekend. And uh, Abel, as you know, trains uh, a middleweight, a uh, middleweight champion, probably one of the best middleweight champions ever. And, uh, you know, boxing is funny. Usually when a guy is champion, there are a lot of challenges want to fight him. His guy, Golovkin, they call him Triple G. I mean, everybody 
is making statements on all these boxing uh, websites why they won't fight the guy. <laughs> so, and now he tells me, and you can rely on Abel, that Andy is in sensational shape and that he, Abel, is going to train another world champion in Andy Ruiz. Kevin Barry, do you break the streak on Saturday night? Well, we'll be working very, very hard to try and break it. And I know Abel's a, a tremendous trainer. Uh, all his fighters are always in great shape and they come with a great game plan. He's a very confident trainer and I think that confidence brushes off on his fighters. But we've, we've prepared very, very well for this fight. This fight is, I think this is an, an epic event, one of historic value where you have two young, hungry fighters trying to cement their place in the history of their countries. Joe understands the privilege that he has to be able to be part of history. And I think more than anything else in this fight, that is what gives him the drive, the motivation, and the determination to be the very, very best that Joseph Parker can be on Saturday night. We've prepared well. There's no excuses. The Joseph Parker that I've seen in the last two weeks since arriving here in Auckland has been as good as I've ever seen. And my challenge to Joe is to produce a career-defining performance on Saturday night, and if he does that, we will win the world title. Andy, I'd like you to actually stand up here actually and say a few words and, and take ownership of what is a, a monumental moment in your career. You know, it feels good to be here, you know. Um, I thank God for everything that he's done for me, Abel, Bob Aaron. Um, you know, this is my chance. This is, I didn't come over here all the way to New Zealand to lose or, or anything like that. I came here to do my best. We trained really hard. And December 10th, um, I know there's going to be a lot of fireworks, and and with God on my side, I know my my hat's going to be um, raised up in the air, you know. And there's nothing bad I can say about Joseph Parker, you know. I'm pretty sure he trained really hard for this fight as well. But you know, um, a lot of people are underestimating me uh, the way I look or how I am. But imagine um, how I was uh, when I was out of shape and when I'm in shape now is going to be a big difference. So December 10th, there's going to be a lot of fireworks and happy to be here. And you know, um, all the, the Mexican raza that, that's over there and, and Mexico supporting me, um, you know, I wish them uh, that they're supporting me and all that. And December 10th, I'm going to take that belt back to Mexico and to the United States. that we are not underestimating it. <laughs> yeah, um, you know, like uh, Barry says, they're not underestimating me, but I know uh, a lot of the people here are, and um, you know, that, that gives me the more uh, motivation, you know, and um, a todos los mexicanos que me están apoyando, por favor, actúen en el HBO, diciembre 10, y aquí vamos a hacer historia, y voy a traer el cinturón para atrás para México. Gracias.
on to questions from the media. Competition that we're going to be having in the years ahead, I think, will begin to elevate the heavyweight division uh, to its rightful place as being the premier division in the sport of boxing. So, again, we're on the cusp here of seeing something extraordinary uh, where one of these young men, and maybe both, because if you lose, it's not the end of the world, you always can come back, that these young men will be in the thick of things uh, in the heavyweight division, which will, in my opinion, be very prominent in the years to come. Joseph, uh, we had David mention earlier, comparing this opportunity to Serena and Hillary climbing in this. Has that shot in history and the weight of pressure, I suppose, that would on you? <coughs> Um, you know, the way I see it, I'm just excited to be part of this event and to be part of making history. You know, and that's given me, like you said, giving me extra drive and motivation. You know, I want to go out there and, and win this. You know, I want to win it well, and I want to you know, be part of history. And I want, you know, this is an amazing event for New Zealand to have. And you know, the preparation has been great. Um, I'm feeling strong, physically, mentally, in, in the right place. 
and it's been it's great for our team to be able to have this event in New Zealand. It's taken us, and you know, everyone's worked hard to to have this here. Duke events, myself, my management team, Kevin. So, what more can I say? I'm just excited. Say about you. Is it the same for you, for Andy? Yeah, it's the same. Andy, I, I met Andy in 2013, and I have a lot of respect for him. And Andy's uh, had more fights than I have. He's been a professional longer, so um, there's nothing bad I can say about him. You know, he's. Uh, I think we're both nice guys. We both respect each other. Both humble outside the ring, but we know that when we're in the ring, and the bell goes, we want to try and knock each other up. I don't know if you saw, but overnight over in the UK, there was a massive scene of the press conference with Dillian White, Derek Chisora, there were tables thrown everywhere. I said we're not going to see anything like that. The tables are too big. So, <laughs> Andy, are you feeling less pressure than Joseph since Joseph, the homeboy here? Uh, I think we both have pressure. You know, we both have um, a lot of things um, at stake. You know, uh, we both want to win, and um, you know, December 10th, best match wins. And I know we both train really hard for this fight, and um, it's just going to be an epic night. So, do you think the pressure is more on Joe? Um, I don't know. I, I don't know what he thinks or, or not, you know, but I hope. I hope it's in, I hope he has more pressure. <laughs> well, these guys were about the same age as others. Uh, Did you started working? This sort of mindset, is this the sort of thing that you so enthusiastic about boxing so many years later? Me? Yeah. Yeah, well, boxing is a great, great sport. It's truly a global sport. It's a sport where somebody like myself can come over here and talk to an audience of New Zealanders and they can know exactly what I'm talking about. I mean, people around the world love boxing because they can understand the sport. It's the same all over. Now, if I talk to all of you, about baseball, American baseball, and you'd think I was nuts and nobody would, or very few of you, would understand. Or if I talk to you about uh, 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 third down in football and uh, 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 third down and nine yards to go and, and the penalty for holding that put somebody back 10 yards, you wouldn't know what I was talking about. It's a different sport. Talk to me about rugby, which is a great sport and I like to watch, but I wouldn't know what you were talking about once you got into the nuances. Boxing is different. It's a global sport, and that's what excites me, even at my age, to come or go around the world, uh, open up China, have, having all these kids now in China uh, fighting professionally. Uh, having places like Macau and Hong Kong. Listen, Andy knows. I took him over. He fought two fights, right, in Macau? And that was a great experience. But boxing is a worldwide sport, and that's what excites me. Andy, um, throughout Joe's career, we've seen you know, a number of guys in the back here and be often of winning. But um, to this point, it's always been different. confident enough the work that I've done, you know, with Abel Sanchez. Um, he's been pushing me to the limits. I think I should have been in with Abel Sanchez from the beginning of my career, but, you know, um, things happen for a reason, and I'm happy that it happened for this fight. And, um, you know, we, we both hit hard, not, not just him, I hit hard as well. And, um, you know, it's going to be a really good fight, but I'm mentally prepared as well, you know. Um, um, we train really hard over there in Big Bear and high altitude, and um, no, I'm just mentally uh, focused and prepared. Andy, why do you think there hasn't been a uh, Mexican heavyweight champion in the world, considering the crowd's sort of boxing nation that they've been up? Um, I don't know. I think um, uh, a lot of Mexicans, uh, they're, they're all in lightweight, you know. There's been um, the champion in almost, or actually in every division, almost. Uh, of Mexicans, but I think God put me here for a reason, and that is to win and to be the first Mexican heavyweight champion in the world. Do you think you fight with that uh, style of the, of the school of fighters in terms of your, your hands, feet, and moves? Yeah, 
Yeah, you know, um, I think my, I'm an excited fighter. You know, I'm, I could be a pressure fighter. I can move around. Um, you know, I, I like to throw my combinations and the jabs and all that. And um, I think December 10th, uh, there's going to be a lot of mix up of, of all the advantage that I can do. Joseph, over the next couple of days, do you keep the same routines as per every other fight, or do you lock yourself in a way in a room? Or no, we keep keep the same routine. We find that the routine that we have at the moment it works well for us. It's worked well for the past twenty-one fights now. So I guess it's about uh, keeping relaxed. The rest is very important, and just you know, keeping that focus on December ten. You must have noticed a big round swell though in support. A lot more people offering you support this time round. Yeah, there's a lot of support, and that support. You know, I'll go into this fight with that support. I'll, I'll use that support to motivate me, motivate me December ten. And I'll use it to um, use it as power. You know, and, um, I know people say there's a lot of pressure, but I, I love pressure. I accept pressure. When there's pressure, I perform better. You seem to get on well with Andy. You're with him today. You're with him tomorrow at the way. And when do you start disliking him? There's, the, there's no dislike. I don't. I don't think he'll dislike me, and I don't dislike him. But it's all part of the sport. And when we get in that ring, when the bell rings, that's when the switch goes on. We're out there to knock each other out. And, and uh, he wants to win the bell. I want to win it. It's, it's who wants it more. Dean, can I ask you or Bob, what happens if there's a draw in this fight? Uh, I, don't know, I, I, don't, maybe, I don't know, maybe uh, we'll do a rematch at uh, Christchurch. I don't know. It's rolling in next week. <laughs> this morning. I appreciate uh, your attendance. Uh, just a couple of uh